Now, Symphony of the Night, returning. And there might be some contradictories between my health from the previous episode, which is quite simple. I restarted the game in a bit more difficult game mode called the Luck Mode. In the Luck Mode, giving me huge amounts of luck, which of course applies to item drops and much less about ev about everything else which should make the game a bit more nah. fucking clean man those are assholes but, and I also did some uh, adjustments with graphics wait a moment you seem human and yet what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. Oh yes, Maria Renard of the Road of Blood. Is, has also arrived in Pennsylvania for reasons of her own and she doesn't trust Alucard yet of course I'm spoiling the plot that very little the game has but it doesn't matter so what to say Alucard is not on, doesn't have to go alone to this mission and of course making use of luck mode makes Alucard much weaker Meaning also that the, there's also much more difficult fighting. But all the basic critical attacks and all that tend to do a bit more damage and they maybe do a magnitude of damage or more damage. Which makes you usually could say that Quick attacking makes the game much more effective. Yeah. Basic skeletons. Castlevania is filled with them. And there's also quite a lot of uh, special weapons, which, if I remember right, either never had appeared in the previous games or were got or had become been very obscure and unknown. Well, it's time to go and check out this direction. And, as the game's name, what is Symphony of the Night? It means that there's... The music is, of course, great, of course. Not all the music is equally great. If I remember, I think you don't even use much of those most renowned Castlevania theme music. They most likely compose completely new music to this. Not various types, ballroom music. There's even some rock. There's even rock music and that kind of. Not necessarily the techno industrial, but but there's plenty of different genres of music. And. But the game does follow. Does follow. Has RPG elements in it. Certain things about it are, of course. Yeah, using holy water to kill those things. So I can't remember what they think. But there, there is an item you can you do you get. Which tells what name, what's the name of this spell. But, you could say that the enemies have set set of drops. But, and uh, And of course, even though the enemies have set set drops, that doesn't mean that everything has same drops. And that thing went down. 
There's plenty of weird monsters in Castlevania, and these are not the exceptions. Uh, a new place approaching. Place where the rain and sleep of the of the Castlevania is now really being dominant. And of course, Pete coming here is much weaker Alucard than expected. There's lots of much more challenge, which I must say is not a bad thing at all. As you can see, oh shit, that's bad. Don't tell me I am about to die. Oh yes, I wish to just jump over these two ugly bastards. They are tough. If you would, have, would come here with different, you could say, set of abilities or stats, they would be just basic meat you could just slap out of your way, but that is not the case with luck mode. They are unpleasantly tough and dangerous. So I'm not gonna bother with them. I am trapped in here. That's a sign of a boss fight. And that's another other card. The double ganger. Double ganger has appeared a lot in our in. Then I got a critical hit with 107 damage, and it killed it. But Double Ganger is a, appears a lot in Castlevania games, and in this one it wasn't too terribly horrifyingly dangerous. But I'm gonna go, still go and confirm my progress by bit walking backwards and getting a save. Monsters, are, even though the basic enemies do respawn in rooms after you leave or exit them the bosses don't bosses are one of kind encounters which is good because something maybe it would be very annoying to face boss several times it, it, it always several times in a row just when you have to go through some path like this because double ganger block one didn't serve but most boss bosses don't serve much purpose and with that, I get a new weapon, the Ladio. And there's, uh, I'm not gonna bother, there's uh, things available later which make it much handier to move forward. And that leads to uh, other place which, to which going, there is not much point, at least not yet. Yeah, that one died. And there's bone shoot, there's arrow shooting. There's all kinds of skeletons in here. And the enemies. Actually I was wrong. Place. This place is where... Um, I can't remember what these were called, but they were called Sword Knights, if I remember right. They can be quite anno annoying in the normal mode and very dangerous in this mode, game mode, so... Time to put there on the machine elevator. Yep, I think 
couldn't succeed in that job. No matter, I can do it always later. Actually, uh, the book uh, gives you a bit of shield. Not much of, not, not, not so useful as it doesn't. Enemies in Castlevania games usually are something that you, they don't get shoved back by hit. Except Double Ganger, but it's a Double Ganger of you, so of course it would react like you to getting hit. Otherwise the enemies just keep plowing through, through you. Clock Tower. Actually, it's more than just a clock tower, it's much bigger place. Uh, and it has skulls, big, small skulls, and big skulls, and one damn good music, even on this game, the music in here is absolutely great. It's called Tragic Prince, I don't know why it would be called Tragic Prince, but it's a fierce Kukokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokokok
Body fit. Very strong. Oh, ah, yeah. oh, shit, I died. I managed to show the death and screen. Well, I guess that shows out how the game over screen happens. And I must come back here with a magic of editing. Oh, back to the library, great library. This is place which has previously appeared in Castlevania game, but of course, many of these locations are something that may have appeared, but of course, not necessarily in this form. Okay, it's no.